they wanted our garbage. Humans are fairly unremarkable, being limited to their tiny solar system at the edge of the transgalactic stage. They're a tenacious bunch. They build everything sturdy and utilitarian. Their brick-shaped ships still burned chemical fuels, and they had hundreds of backups for simple systems. So inefficient. However, they were so behind the technological development of the rest of the civilized space that they might as well have been monkeys throwing space rocks. But one day, they came to us with an interesting offer. We'll buy your garbage. This concept cut the Teledasso species by surprise. We never considered the sale of our garbage. Each family unit recycled everything they used. Nearly everything that was built was built from recycled materials. The concept that we could just dump our trash on someone else was utterly foreign to us, especially since the humans offered to pay us for it. There was no reason to refuse, so we didn't. Soon, we became fairly wealthy as garbage became a huge industry for us, and humans are more than amenable trading partners. After six decades, we got wind that they were buying garbage from 18 different species with similar deals. We were not pleased, to say the least. Unhappy that we no longer had a monopoly over the humans' garbage industry, I was sent as an envoy of my species' displeasure, and what I saw shocked me. What was once a pathetic fleet protecting a handful of planets became several armadas patrolling every inch of Terran space. Moons were giant recycling plants and refineries. Orbital siphoning stations littered the orbits of every gas giant in the system. They had solar power plants orbiting their yellow star like our own, but it looks as if they changed the designs to be more octagonal so they could dock together. They used garbage cans to fire metal at the second planet in their system, using its natural heat to melt the materials into component parts. They used mighty orbital elevators to heft their refined results into space to be distributed in quite possibly the largest transportation system I've ever seen. Their ships had somehow assimilated not only our technology, but those of our allies and enemies. I saw Clefortian ablative heavy armor, energy shield emitters from the fallen Draken Empire, and our own magnetic molten slug lances. Even composite metals whose manufacturing methods were planetary secrets were used in the construction of the frames and keels of these Terran ships. Our human escort could have been classified as a cruiser in our own armada, but the humans corrected me and explained its role as a destroyer. A terrifying name for a terrifying class of ship. My meeting of the human trade ambassador went strangely. He thanked me for my surprised visit to human space. I demanded that he trade solely with us, and he laughed. Laughed! He told me words that I'll never forget. We no longer need your trash. Hey everybody, thanks again for watching. All the things I use in the video are in the description below. If you have a story you'd like to see narrated, please let me know and I'll see if I can contact the author and we can make that happen. Thanks again. Remember.